What's up everybody, Derek here, and today I am in the land of boats, looking at boats. <laughs> it's been awesome. I mean, look at this, just spinning, just boats everywhere, but I'm here to look at this one right behind me. This is a brand new Phoenix. There's not even a price tag on it. This thing is so nice, but it's a 721 Pro XP, and there's another one right next to it that's actually used. So, if you got a 2018, this one's 64. And there's another one that's right over here. That's a 921 Pro XP. That's a 2020 that's 80,000. So, you know that this one is a nice looking brand new boat. It's still got the sticker on the spare. I mean, this thing is so nice. I, I've been looking at boats for a while now and it's hard not to say that this is not one of the nicest boats that I've seen. It's got a 250 Pro XS. I believe that's the big four stroke right there. Big old jack plate. It's got the, the power pole blades on it. It's got the super nice trailer and it is brand spanking new. And as you see, you've got the Garmin right there. So this thing's loaded with Garmin stuff. And then as you come to the front, it's got an Altrex on it, iPilot, the 112. So it's definitely a 36 volt. So this is definitely a tournament boat, but it's really not customized. It's brand new, set up for just basically looking at it right on the shop floor. So let's get in here and look at it. All right, as we go to the back. Mmm, smells new. Got all kinds of new goodies inside of that. Looks like all the owner's manual stuff for everything in this boat. Nice little storage area. Oh, got some trays back here. There's one battery. There's another battery. Oh, it's not slid in there, right? Then you got the power pole for the hydraulics on that. There's some of the information on that, 36 volts. So that gives you four batteries plus a deep cycle for the starting and everything else. Wow, that is a deep live well. That is a real deep live well. I don't see an oxygenator in there, but that could be a, something you could upgrade to. Don't absolutely need it if you're cycling your water and just keeping track of it, making sure it's not getting too hot. But definitely oxygenator helps. Ooh, look at all this storage. Mmm, smells like new fiberglass. Then just got a step down I'm kind of surprised there's nothing right there but that's probably the front of the live well there got storage under here fire extinguisher trolling motor for the yep, covers and then is there a cooler under here no nothing under there but man look at these seats that is some nice waterproof leather we got everything in here. Got your hot plate or hot foot, I mean. Hot plate, hot foot, which is a little far for me because I'm a little shorty. So it can be adjusted to where it comes back further right there on that track system. Then you got a Garmin. I believe that's a 10 right there. Then you got your gauges. Those are some nice gauges for everything that you need to basically see on here. Trim. Where is the jack plate gauge or uh, adjustment? I don't think that's the jack plate adjustment, I don't believe. Not quite sure on this one. And then you got, instead of digital push button, I kind of actually prefer this style because a lot less can go wrong in this. And you've got your breaker panel and everything in here. Yeah, I like it. All right, nice console. Yeah, just looks good. Clean. There's your cooler. Slots for putting everything in here. You got your, your calling board. Another, that's a little bitty. 
compartment. Just some storage area and always can put stuff under there as well. Straps for the, the passengers. Was that slide in and out? Yep, slides in and out. Got side lights there. And then, was this a rod locker? Can't tell, but it goes way up there. So this must be another oh, rod locker or something. Yeah, I think so. There's some slots right there. So it's kind of cool. I haven't seen that in a lot of other bass boats. A good idea of using up space that you get. Ooh. The brains of the operation right here. That is definitely going to hold a lot of tackle. Wow. I like that. That's a ton of storage space. And then you got your side compartments. Tons and tons of rods. Gah. Could store tons of rods in here. Oh, and then there's your top. Same thing. It looks like you got a fuse panel or something, right? Yeah, it's a fuse panel. And then you got a, another little compartment. There's just compartments everywhere in this thing. Little bitty compartment up here, which is perfect size, using up space. I I hate it when they they make it where they don't use all the space that you possibly can. And a good amount of space in there. Look at all that. And the drainage, that's the little details that you can't see that it's cool to see. That right there for those drains. That keeps less problems from happening. And those are basically the drains for this right here on the deck. So nice, nice butt pad. Some nice material made out of the same stuff as those seats. And then this Garmin 10 up here, another one. No live scope or anything, but you could always upgrade and put it on here or just get the uh, the opposite mount for this with it being the Garmin. But these are nice trolling motors, definitely. I've honestly never walked through a Phoenix boat, and I am super surprised. I mean, the little minute little details that they put into this thing is kind of cool with the little drains that I was seeing up underneath and just the extra storage compared to other boats where... You can put storage, but nobody really goes that extra mile and does. But then again, think of the price tag on this thing. So I'm, I'm hoping that you would have those little things kind of integrated into the boat to where it's just using up everything that you possibly can. So I don't know. That's one of the nicest boats I think I've ever seen. And I like the color with that black. Just nice. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And thanks for watching, you guys. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.